Attorney Michael Brooks Jimenez addressed the media Tuesday morning and released video footage in the ongoing case involving the death of Luis Rodriguez. Brooks Jimenez represents Luis's family, including wife Nair Rodriguez, who used her phone to shoot footage as the incident on February 15th occurred outside the Warren Theater in Moore. Police say the 44-year-old Rodriguez became uncooperative when officers questioned him about a possible domestic disturbance. The evening started with a family outing to watch a movie at the Warren Theater. Luis's wife of 22 years and his teenage daughter got into an argument resulting in, in, in his wife leaving to go to her car. Luis, known in his family and in his church as a peacemaker, went after his wife to calm her down when he was confronted by police and, and theater security. These officers were called over for what has been characterized as a domestic disturbance between Luis's wife and daughter. He was not involved in the disturbance. However, when police came, they focused their attention on, on Luis, taking him face down onto the pavement, pepper spraying his mouth, nose, and eyes, and putting the weight of five grown men on top of him, and then handcuffing him as he was unconscious or possibly already dead. Luis, are you okay? He's fine. Why you came to all this? Please, tell me. Luis committed no crime. He was not armed. He had no gun, no knife, no weapon of any kind. But Luis was the one who lost his life that night. Autopsy results are pending toxicology and results could take two months or more. Meanwhile, Cleveland County District Attorney Greg Mashburn has asked the OSBI to investigate. OSBI agents indicate the investigation will be lengthy and time-consuming. Police say the three officers involved in the incident are on administrative leave.